Option in your home, in your home, oh, on the phone, on the phone, all alone, all alone, uh, I didn't see you no interruption. Yo, what is going on, guys? X Super Lobbies here, and it is February 23rd, 2015, and I'm on 4.66 Habib firmware. Let's try to sign in. A system software update is required. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to bypass this and sign in on Rebug 4.65.2 Cobra, um, you know, uh, on DEX. So this is a DEX tutorial, so I'll meet you guys on the computer to show you guys what to do. All right, what is going on, guys? Um, I'm on my computer. So in the description below, I'm going to have a folder download to a bunch of stuff, a spoofer and two firmware updates. It's going to be the 4.46 Rex edition for Rebug and 4.65.2 um, Rebug, okay? So this is the Rex version right here. I'm going to open up my USB. So make sure you have your USB plugged in your computer. Go to PS3 update and then drag ps3.update ps3.update.pup into your um, update folder then after you've done that go ahead and eject your uh, USB safely and I'll meet you guys on the uh, PS3 alright guys so once we're on our PS3 make sure you guys have plugged in your USB to your right hand slot of your uh, PS3 and then go ahead and unplug your Ethernet cable or disconnect your Wi-Fi if you're on Wi-Fi Come over to network settings and disable your internet connection. I'll do it anyway. And make sure you don't have a disk in your PS3. And then once you guys have done that, um, we're going to go ahead and system update via storage media. And we're going to update right to 4.46. And if you guys are scared to update right to this firmware from Habib, feel free to um, downgrade with 999 downgrader, but you don't need to. Take my word for it. I'll show you guys right now. So I'm going to speed up this part of the video and play some music. Hope to see you guys when it's done. Yeah. Lamp City. They tell me to slow down, but homie, I'm just living my life. Ain't gonna do what you think is right, cause they're stressing me out. They telling me they know what's best, but will I care when there's no one left? They tell me to slow down, but homie, I'm just living my life. Ain't gonna do what you think is right, cause they're stressing me out. They telling me they know what's best, but will I care when there's no one left? I think Let me start it off. I was just a kid and a mess up. From first grade on, I was fucking all my tests up. When I got to second grade, shit was all messed up. Of course, they got divorced but still god blessed us and still i managed to take apart the damage and put it all together like some cheese on a sandwich middle school was tough man i thought it never ran now the kids who picked on me you're like my best friend so it's weird how your life changed but it's all right man started smoking weed so i thought about my life man and what it all comes down to in the end is the little things you do and the stupid shit with friends i'm plotting my revenge at these stupid ass teachers Alright guys, as you guys can see, I did reboot successfully on to 4.46 Rex Edition. So now we are going to turn on my controller here. And uh, you can just leave your internet unplugged. Just leave it unplugged because we're not done updating yet. So you guys can see I am on Rebug now. Successfully on Rebug. I'm going to load up Rebug Toolbox. Just to show you guys that we're still on CEX, and I'm going to show you guys how to get the decks now. So, your system is not running Cobra, because I have the Cobra version of Rebook Toolbox, don't worry about that. Uh, see, I'm on CEX right now, 4.46, just quit that. We don't, need a, we don't need to deal with Rebook Toolbox right now. Now, once we're back here, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to meet you guys on the computer to show you guys what to do next. Make sure you guys bring your USB with you, by the way. What's up, guys? So once we're back on our computer, go ahead and open up your USB. And make sure you guys have your sex and DAX flashes on the root of your USB. Make sure they're the correct um, way. So you can pause the video and check them. And then download this PKG. It will be in the folder in the description below. It's called IDPS set. Drag that in there to your root of your USB. And once it's done, go ahead and eject your USB safely, and I'll meet you guys on the PS3. Alright, so once we're back on our PS3, 
go to package manager, go to install package files, go to standard package location, go ahead and install IDPS set v0.84 pkg. After we've installed that, simply load it on up. And this PKG, um, this part of the tutorial is really scary, uh, so if you're like uptight about this, you can c come back to this when you want. So, once we're here, you can make your sex index dumps. Like, so, if you don't have your sex index dumps, come here and click that, and then hit convert to dex. And you can go ahead and steal my console ID. That's my uh, first ID in its band. And uh, your PS3 will reboot. And now, it rebooted. Now we should be on Dex. And it rebooted actually really fast because it's a soft reboot. And it should say, um, this file system should just hit circle. And then, uh, it's going to load me um, to my user because I have auto sign in on. So now, if I go back to Rebook Toolbox. Alright, what is going on guys? I'm back on my computer. So go ahead and plug your USB into your computer. And go ahead and download the Rebug 4.65.2 DRX edition. Go ahead and delete all that and make sure it's just renamed to ps 3 updatepup And then open up your PS3 folder, update, delete the one that's in there right now, and replace it with the 4.65 Rebug. Now once you've done that, Go ahead and eject your USB safely, and I'll meet you guys back on the PS3. Alright guys, I'm back on my PS3, so make sure your uh, your USB is plugged into the right hand slot. Go ahead and go to network settings, disable your internet, and make sure you guys do not have a disk in your PS3. I'm going to go ahead and disable my ethernet cable. So, once you guys have done that, go ahead, go to your system update, via storage media, and now you'll see 4.65.2 ps 3 updatepup Go ahead and click on that. And um, it's giving me that error. So what we have to do is you'll see it will not work. Yeah, so what you guys have to do is turn off your PS3. Hold down your PS3 button. And what we're doing is we're putting our PS3 into recovery mode because for some reason it's not, you know, working. It does that with everybody. That's this is what you have. This is how you have to install it. So you should hold it down again and then hold it again. And your my screen should be black right now. And then it should beep again. Beep beep. Okay, now we're good. Get a USB charging cable and plug it into your PS3. Okay, so unfortunately my Elgato didn't capture this part of the video, but I have two images on screen that you should see. You should see that it asks you to connect your controller using the um, USB cable and press the PS button. Then it's in safe mode and it says, um, it's the six option, it's a system update. You want to click the system update, then hit start and select, and then the update process should start, and I'll see you guys when my PS3 reboots. Alright, so once you guys are back on your computer, plug your USB in, open up the root, and drag this um, PKG in there. It's called the Rebug Spoof 4.66.pkg. And before I move on for the rest of the video, I want to uh, shout out Loki and Bedwetting for confirming this, um, working on the 4.70 update. And shout out to Loki for sending me the right PKG, because it wasn't for him. I almost fucking installed the CAX on Dex It could have broke my console. So big shout out to him. So I'll meet you guys on the uh, PS3. So once you guys are back on your PS3, go to Package Manager, Install Package Files, Standard Package Location, and Install Rebug Spoof 466.pkg. So once you guys have installed that, go ahead and start this up. Now, again, this is a very dangerous step, um, so if you don't feel safe doing this, you know, hmm, yeah, uh, uh, so 
click CFW spoof, activate the spoof, and you want to hit yes, and it's going to back up your file. So if you do soft brick, um, your hard drive won't get corrupted. So, okay, and it's going to copy your files. And it says CFW spoof 4.66 has installed a success. Do you want to change dev flash files? You, of course you want to hit yes. And then just hit yes. And your PS3 should reboot. And the last step, you can hit yes or no. It doesn't matter. A soft reboot, actually, hitting no would actually reboot your PS3 faster. Because um, it only reboots your LV2 kernel. But you know me. Hitting yes all the time. Got to be safe. Now after your PS3 rebooted, go ahead and sign on in. And now we successfully signed in on 4.65.2 Rebug. Um, and I'll show you guys my system settings right now. 4.66, but the 4.70 update's on and we're still online. There we go, guys. So, working dex method. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please put a like on it. Comment if you have any questions. Subscribe for more daily modding content. Hope to see you guys in my next video.